What's up, everybody? Matt Gajewski here, back again with the Osmo team and our friends at Prize Picks to discuss some college football ahead of week five this Saturday, main slate of games. Before we get started, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when this and all other content goes live. As noted before, our friends over at Prize Picks have a slew of player props available to you guys, including college football. And we're going to dive right in, giving you four picks today. And as you can see, we are talking about picks from virtually every game imaginable in college football. And we're going to kick things off at the quarterback position, talk about some passing yardage props. And we're going to hit a little bit of an obscure game, but Stanford taking on Oregon. Tanner McKee, the Stanford quarterback, is listed at 211 0.5 passing yards. There is a distinct edge towards the over on this prop. Tanner McKee, he was in a timeshare to begin the year, but he has since taken over that starting job. And he's been over this in each of his last three games passing. And we're not talking about just slouch non-con opponents either. We're talking about Southern California. We're talking about Vanderbilt. We're talking about UCLA. He easily eclipses this passing number just based on our raw projections over at Osmo.com before we even factor in the matchup here. And when we look to Oregon, their weakness has been pass defense. They're allowing 338 passing yards per game through the air to FBS opponents. A lot of that because they faced Ohio State. But even so, Stanford, they're only averaging 55 plays per game. When you're running base projections, of course, Tanner McKee is not going to project that well based on those numbers. However, you look back to last year, they average nearly 15 more plays per game. They're a team that is throwing the ball 54.5% of the time. This is a strong situation to take a stab right now on the over with Tanner McKee at the quarterback position for Stanford. And from here, we're going to hit running back pretty hard. There's a couple rushing props that are fairly depressed heading into the weekend. And we're going to start with Ches Malusi from the Wisconsin Badgers, 79.5 rushing yards for Ches. It's an interesting situation looking at Wisconsin to start the year. They're one and two, which we typically don't see losses to Penn State and Notre Dame. However, Ches Malusi has handled an absurd workload through three games. We're talking about 69 carries. He carried the ball 31 times against Penn State, 20 times in a somewhat meaningless game against Eastern Michigan, and then 18 times against Notre Dame. He's averaging 106 rushing yards per game, and those are fairly good opponents in there. We're talking Notre Dame, Penn State mixed in. They're facing Michigan as slight favorites. Michigan, they haven't played anybody yet this year, but the weakness of their defense still appears to be the run game. We know Ches Malusi is going to be fed the ball. Even with inefficient projections, he fairly easily projects to eclipse this rushing number of 79 and a half yards. So we'll be taking the over on Wisconsin's Ches Malusi. From here, we're going to stick with the running back position and hit Tyler Beatty. It's Missouri taking on Tennessee. Tyler Beatty has an 89 and a half rushing yard projection. It's a spot where Missouri's coming off a loss and Beatty's been extremely involved. He's somebody that is seeing an immense workload. We already have 67 carries for Beatty on the year and he averages 105 rushing yards per game. Missouri is a three point favorite over Tennessee in this spot. And Beatty has been absolutely fed the ball, especially in competitive games. We're talking about 26 carries in week one. He just saw 18 carries against Boston College in week two. Beatty's been incredibly efficient, and now we have a spot where they are projected to play with positive game script against the Tennessee defense that's been suspect at times this year, not to mention Missouri above average in plays per game. We're going to take the over on Tyler Beatty, 89 and a half rushing yards. And for our final one, we are going to go to West Virginia and hit Letty Brown all the way down here, 84 and a half rushing yards on Brown. This is another interesting spot to talk about. West Virginia, they, they dropped their first game to Maryland. They're a team that hasn't played with positive game script for a lot of the year, two and two heading into this contest. They also have a loss to Oklahoma on the schedule. So it hasn't been as smooth as sailing for Letty Brown. And in one of the games they won, they faced Long Island. So you didn't even get to see much Letty Brown in that contest to begin with. However, he's another bell cow back that's been extremely involved this year. He hasn't seen fewer than 15 carries in any individual game. And efficiency has been a bit of an issue for Letty Brown, only averaging 80 yards per game. So this prop here, we would need an uptick at least in efficiency or volume to see him get there. However, Texas Tech has allowed 156 yards in the ground to opposing FBS opponents. 
and got run all over on by Texas last week. Letty Brown, last week he only seeded one carry, and it didn't even go to another running back. It went to Sam James. He literally handled every single running back carry that the offense had. We saw this in week one against Maryland. In competitive games, Letty Brown is not coming off the field. He is going to receive every single opportunity that these running backs are receiving, like the over on 84 and a half rushing yards for him as well here. But that will do it for us today. Thank you again to our friends at Prize Picks for providing these contests and giving you all sorts of deals. Of course, I'm Matt Gajeski on Twitter at Matt underscore Gajeski. Make sure to check out Prize Picks this weekend. Otherwise, we will see you again next time. Have a good day.